Bank of England, very much data dependent. We look into the next rate hikes, 25 basis points, probably even 50 basis points, but it doesn't seem to be an ending cycle. What, what do you see there? So th- the issue with rate hikes and how they're reported in the media, especially at such a sensitive time, is there's a meta-analysis that's been conducted on maybe 29 different studies. And I think it was released in 2020, maybe a little bit earlier. Mm. But it basically says that in developed economies, the lag time on uh, interest rate policy changes, so rate hikes or rate cuts, tends to take between 25 and 50 months Mm. to come to fruition Mm. in developed economies. And the reasoning is, is because the more financially developed they are, I guess the more liquid they are, you know, the, the, there's going to be less of a direct impact. It takes time for credit changes to occur mm-hmm. versus, you know, developing economies. Um, but th- the Bank of England have to be really, really careful because they're probably looking at now, okay, so there's been 14 consecutive hikes, mm-hmm. which started only, what, 18 months ago, roughly? You know, we're nowhere near that, even initial mm-hmm. 25, mm-hmm. 25 month uh the minimum if you like that that meta-analysis basically looked at so we're reaching i think terminal rate and and 5.5 percent should be the terminal rate mm. we are seeing you know guilt yields soften a little bit especially on the two year mm. we hit that level where they reached back in 2007 and absolutely collapsed obviously with the financial crisis mm. so i think you know we're, we're reaching a part of the story now where previously something big happened and this is how i like to look at the market as well what happened at a certain time um and are the similar issues happening again we're seeing you know london house prices down 1.8 percent mm. very reminiscent of 2007 2008 mm. now i'm not saying it's uh it's a similar sort of banking liquidity crisis thing excuse me but when you go to you know trying to retell a story of what happened price reacts heavily in in similar ways you know it, it's a footprint so you know we're at similar levels of 2007 eight. house prices are ticking down a little bit mm. in london mm. outside they've actually you know remained quite quite okay which makes sense yeah um but yeah it, it, i think 5.5 percent and the bank of england are going to say well we need to wait for these time lags to come in now yeah. because we're seeing cracks already 